O oh, you ineffable living quality, when you strum on that string where my spine dangles like calcified pearls, sand diamonds shine like a crown, and I know you are near. The expanse of the cosmos precipitates rainbow mist, and a jolt of black lightning moves my blood. It is only in this dark and wondrous moment that liberation is possible. Shades wrapped in feeling are trapped in the past. With some lever of thought, doors can be opened there. But there's no freedom, edits, revisions, and envisions. Shadows stretch forward, but that moment when the light dispels them never comes. We carry a light shining on our leading edge with incomprehensible speed, never making it to the future. So only at this starting point, now, unfolds the sublime path to the field beyond. Let us walk this razor's edge, enwrapped in the sheer veil of ideas, the no-thing-ness of vibrant, energetic qualities. Unnameable, primal virtue, the panoramic ecstasy opens our receptors to the song of the beneficent mystery. Tasting the colors of the sunset and hearing the sensation of anticipation floating on a scent mid-ocean, buoyant with gravity, blooming our heart like a rose with a sensor of wordless essence in every petal. We engage with you what is the thought that is not the result of thinking? Or the flame we reach to capture in a jar that flows in and out of the sensation that is not part of our senses? What liberty is possible when we relinquish what is labeled, defined, trapped in our tired shells, our stale spells? It is this pristine starkness beyond belief where wonder beams. Each experience of feeling, insight, sensation, unique to itself, frolics in the field, not burdened with astute definition. Primal quality, you sense me. I have not disappeared. No, there is a reference point where I live in the empty space of that singing bowl, or the quizzical eye of a blue jay outside the far window or the ripple of a breeze on the downy hairs of an arm. There is a reference point of me in all that breathes and stands and rests, floats and sinks back to earth. The eye that sees from that vantage revels in freedom. And so I move an arm creating karma. The ripples of that ax shift mountains infinitesimally and the quality that entices my wayward electrons to pop into being on a lark is akin to that which generates the nameless color that I am devouring with my nervous system. I move and we all move, but just as there are a thousand paths stretched outwardly, there are a thousand lives already living inwardly in this universal pulse. This grounded freedom is defined by letting go, or better yet, by the absolute irrelevancy of letting go, by the amusing, unnecessary habit of ever holding anything long enough to let go, of ever separating the thing to reach toward it. In this crystal moment of no striving, of radiant love, I listen to the warmth of the day and feel so clearly the beat of your heart drumming with my own together amplifying the ineffable qualities of the universe, the siren song of the mystery itself, we release our joy into the now electric space between us.